Now we have Sally Fawaz on standby and will tell us more about the fight and what to look forward to. Good to have you with us, Sally. Thanks, thanks for having me, guys. Yeah, um, over the weekend, yeah, we both predicted that um, Dillian White was going to take the day, but yeah, it happened there was an upset. Like also, we, we, we thought it was going to be an upset, and it did happen for Povetkin against White. Yes, um, you know, uh, you know, when we when we spoke about the fight, you know, before the fight, I just felt like you know they overlooked um, Povetkin were way too much. You know, there was so many discussion about what's next for White and, you know, the, you know, uh, becoming the, the, the guy that um, is going to fight, uh, you know, the winner between Fury and Wilder, you know, yeah. for the WBC world title. I think there was so much, you know, um, that was going on with that. And I think, you know, that, that was the, that was the problem. You know, I felt, I felt like they should just, you know, keep it, uh, keep it calm and just focus on this fight and then, you know, go, uh, and, and see what you can do with the WBC uh, world title. True. Now, was it a case of Dillian White underrating Povetkin? Because, yes, he floored him twice, and maybe he felt like he could take it and um, knock out Povetkin, but it didn't happen for him. So was it, was it a case of him underrating his opponent? No, I think, he, you know, um, everyone respects uh, Povetkin, you know, being a, a gold medalist and a former world champion. Oh. And you know he 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 has so much experience as a heavyweight, uh, you know, in boxing. And um, if if there was any thought, I believe, in what, that went through uh, Dylan White's uh, mind in terms of, you know, rating Povetkin, he might have looked at his age, you know, being 40 years old, and felt like, you know, he would uh, he would take him into deep water and then finish it there. Uh, I think I think that that's that's where the uh, the to answer your question, I believe he probably you know thought of it that way, but. Um, I think it has to do with, you know, this whole thing, you know, boxing especially, it's not just about your training, it's also the, your mental focus and, and the people around you, the environment that you're in and all that. I just feel there was just so much that was looked after the fight, you know, they, it just felt like everybody just felt like, you know, Dylan White is going to win and all that. And they forgot, you know, the, 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 the experience that Povetkin can bring. Look, for somebody to, to get knocked down twice, and still come back up and, and, and win by knockout, not even TKO. You know, it's it's exceptional. And and and, and that shows you, uh, you know, the experience uh, Povetkin has in the game. Oh, true. Uh, now, we're looking forward to a rematch because, yes, Dylan White wants a rematch. And for Eddie Han, the promoter, he has confirmed that there's a rematch clause and this may happen before the end of the year. December are uh, looking like a possible month for it to happen. Uh, what are expectations from this one? I saw, I saw the, um, you know, I, I uh, saw, I saw the interview. I saw when Eddie Hearn was having an interview after the fight, and Dylan White walked up to him, and you know, he reminded him of the rematch. And Eddie Hearn, in front of the yeah. camera, said, uh, "Yes, of course, we're going to have that rematch. It's in the clause and all that." Uh, my, my fear is that uh, I hope that rematch doesn't uh, take too long. If they're going to give it to Dylan White, I feel you know everybody deserves a second chance, and you know, it's in the clause anyway. So they, they, they should give it to him. But I, I fear that, you know, they, uh, they won't, uh, you know, make it too late and postpone it and, you know, have all these uh, other fights come in before, you know, uh, his fight, you know. Uh, so it's, it's, I don't know if it was just said in front of the cameras that it will be done that quick, but I hope, I hope you know, they take care of business uh, towards the end of the year. True. Now, for uh, Povetkin's victory, what does it mean for Anthony Joshua, Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder? Uh, so you know, uh, it's it's back to uh, to be honest with you, it's back to the topic of uh, of uh, when is Wilder and Fury going to fight again, and uh, and then uh, you know the Joshua Fury fight. But there's so much going on right now in heavyweight division that uh, this is a very good example. Of it. You know, like Ovechkin now, you know, has has uh, you know defeated uh, uh, Dylan White. He's changed the whole uh, you know uh, plan. For uh, the big fights that that people you know want to see, such as uh, Fury and Joshua for the undisputed and all that, so it's there's a lot of things going on that you don't know what's next. And I think this is a lesson for all of us that you know instead of talking so much about the Fury Joshua fight without a date, we might as well just focus and see what happens first with, uh, with Fury Wilder. Because for me, that uh, this is a personal opinion, the Fury Wilder fight 
it's not a hundred percent fight or or ninety percent that Fury is going to win. I think Wilder has you know is going to bring everything to the table. I mean, Fury is about the box and all that, but Wilder, you know, uh, Wilder is Wilder, and he can you know end fights with one second, just like how Ovetkin did yesterday or on uh, Saturday night with. Uh, Dylan White. What does it mean to for Joshua? I think Joshua should just focus on his next fight. Pulev, Fury should focus on his next fight. Wilder, and let's see if the rematch comes in for Dylan White and Povetkin. Uh, it's it's one of those things where uh, it will only work out how the fans want the fights to happen if the, the the people they want to see fight continue to win. And right now you have Povetkin who has defeated Dylan White. Who knows what will happen with AJ and Pulev and Fury Wilder. Mm. All right, thank you very much, Sally, as always, for joining us to talk about boxing on the show. Thank you. Thank you, Tom. All right, keep it locked down and continue to stay safe out there.